Kun Banwa, Chef Jay here at the Cooking Dojo. Tonight on our show we'll be doing other appetizers around the world. Tonight we'll be covering Japan. Now, I'm really afraid to ask this question, but what do you all think of when you think of Japan? Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a 10-year-old girl or a monster. You're riding a fine line between homage and racism. Thank you. Now, how about we go over some real facts about Japan? Virginia, yeah, it's so good to see you again. It's good to see you back then, too. So, uh, we're covering the land of the rising sun, Japan, right? Correct. Did you know that Japan gets 85% of its coffee from Jamaica? Japan also has one of the highest life expectancies out of any country. On average, Japanese people live four years longer than Americans. On average, it takes seven to ten years for a chef to learn how to prepare fugu fish, but lately this practice is no longer necessary as farms are learning how to raise non-toxic fish. Speaking of food, tonight we will be showing you how to make gyoza. So here is what you will need for your gyoza. Some cabbage, carrots, garlic, and some ground pork. Don't forget your uh, wonton wrappers. And you can substitute the pork for any kind of meat. Making this will be very similar to making spring rolls. First, go ahead and saute your ingredients with a little sesame oil. Assistant, if you would. Don't forget to season. When your vegetable and meat are cooked, go ahead and add them to the wonton wrappers. Okay, you're not gonna add a whole lot here. Uh, make sure you take a little water. Just go around the edges. And you're gonna fold it up kind of like a taco. Just make sure you didn't overstuff it so it'll fry. Which, by the way, make sure you have some oil nearby for frying. Fry until golden brown on both sides. For a garnish, we'll just use a little scallions here. And if you would please add some soy sauce. And here you have gyoza. This is Chef Jay. And Virginia. Saying, Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu.